<laughs> all right all right what's going on party people this your man griff uh, i'm doing a little quick video i'm gonna run home and scan real quick um man they made that into a three-story house uh, nice real nice um yeah i just finished doing a dag on it loan no not loan modification um heloc just finished doing the heloc um and what's been great is that i've been able to do i think i'm going in the right direction i hope i am um what's been great is that i've been able to do the inspection through groundworks and then turn around and get the actual closing on the heloc so that's been great um haven't gotten every single one you know that i do um inspection but i'm getting a good number of them so that's sort of like a double dip you know so you know i get paid for doing the inspection then i actually will see the um the notification come out for the closing and then i'll get that so one property you know brings me two different um I guess you can say two different streams of income or two different, you know, um, paydays, <laughs> however you want to call it. So that's pretty nice to do. Um, and it's just, you know, you just got to be ready. You just got to be ready to grab whatever comes your way and all that good stuff. Um, <clears throat> so yesterday, today is whatever the day is. Um, the ninth. Today is Tuesday, April the 9th. Yesterday, April the eighth. Um, you know, I was talk I did two quick videos um talking about a last minute signing that I got. 250 some pages. Matter of fact, it's sitting right back here. I'm gonna go home, do the scan, and then drop that off. And you know, I was thinking, and I was talking to somebody when I was thinking about this. Um Okay, you gonna come across the street, kid, or what? Nope, I guess not. <laughs> and, you know, I know the big thing and the big push is to do all of these signings in an hour. I actually got that done in about 30 minutes. And one of the things that I talked about is everything has to be, you know, almost perfect in order, or pretty much perfect in order for everything to go smooth. Docs on time, just that and the other, signers are ready so forth and so on and that doesn't always happen so all you can really focus on is doing what you can do or what you're supposed to do correctly you know print the documents correctly show up on time to the best of your ability and i say that because you know you got accidents you got delays and all kinds of stuff that can happen um have all your pens um clipboards your notary stamp inked because a lot of notaries are out there just stamping 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 and then pressing and holding it down for two hours in order for the ink to transfer and they don't realize all they got to do is just re-ink the stamp you know so you got to have all that but to get these signings done in an hour in some cases for some people when they're first coming in could be a feat because you've never done anything like this before this is new to you so you all of a sudden trying to do this in an hour and you're trying to do something that most title companies take two hours to do and as you go through this process people will tell you to say yeah the last time we did we was in the lawyer's office or the title office man it took two hours for them going through every single page so i always found it interesting that they're asking us to do something in an hour that literally they take two hours to do in some cases in a lot of cases they literally will take two hours take their time and show people and i've sat there with escrow people as they presented the documents and it took over an hour and that's them just giving a quick summary but what tends to happen with that is when they give that summary then the, the buyers or the sellers whoever's signing the documents especially with the buyers sellers probably won't take an hour but the sellers I mean, the, um, the sellers won't take an hour. The buyers more likely can take an hour or more. But the buyers, they then, and I watched the body language, the person is trying to give them a synopsis, and it's like they don't necessarily trust it, so then they start reading it themselves to, to make sure that what you said is what it is. I found that I can get through it quicker when the signers read it. 
if they read it, they're like, okay, I got it. Instead of, okay, let me see what you said matches with what this say. That's what I've seen. But a lot of times we're being asked, you know, especially when you first coming in this business as a new notary to do something in an hour or less that other people who've been more experienced, the title company, the lenders, the real estate attorneys, they literally take an hour or more to do. And I think personally, I think that's unfair. Um, so what I that's where I said, well, let me figure out how can I get this done in an hour or less and not miss anything at all. And what I found is that if you focus on the signatures, the dates, the initials, and your, then you make sure that your part, if there's a notorious certificate, you can get in and out. And if the signers have already read through the documents, because a lot of times they have, or they only care about the numbers because they're comfortable with this company, they're doing it with Navy Federal, they don't feel that Navy Federal or Bank of America or Wells is going to do them dirty, and they got a good relationship with the loan officer and all the people involved, and they're like, I just want to sign, there's really nothing for you to sit here and try to get them to read and feel comfortable about when they already feel comfortable. And if y'all go out there and do these closings, you'll see I'm telling you the truth. And if any of y'all have gone out there and, and rec recognize, y'all have heard me say this before and realize that, yeah, you know, what Griff is saying is true. And it's not that Griff is trying to be right. This is just what it is whether it was coming from me or anybody else this is the truth uh, you get out there you find out that these signers are cool with what they're signing and they don't need any prodding they don't need any convincing they don't need anybody to coax them and to guide them and and to ensure that they're going to actually do this okay they don't they don't need the notary there to make sure that they do it and i mean and, and i hear what people say you know the and and i heard it um last night on clubhouse and i've heard it with other people in the past you know they're like well we need to do this and say something about the documents or, or have some kind of knowledge of the documents because you know um we're probably the only person they see in the process that's not our fault <laughs> i'm like okay they chose to go through the process this way they chose this you know um and even the person in I'm first time meeting them on Clubhouse, but they confirm what I've always said. People think that because we bring the documents, we carry the documents, that means we have some ownership and some type of responsibility for us to communicate information about the documents. And they said exactly what I've said on this channel before, that, well, the other people, wills, power of attorneys, when well, they bring you the document, so therefore they're bringing you the document, there's nothing for you to try to know about the document. Well, to be technical, the person, somebody just giving us a document to just deliver. They're not giving us the document to say, hey, Griff, here's this document, make sure everything is right. However, they do try to do that. Hey, you go through and make sure we spelt everything right and that we dated everything right and that we did how, how am i supposed to know i got like today i got six dropped down to five because they said hold off on doing the loan application i might end up doing that later but right now I, you know i tentatively got six but i definitely got five and then and i'm like i don't have time to sit here and qc your stuff when i don't even know what case in point one time they told me to check hey make sure this and this is years ago and I'm going through I'm like I don't know what the person's real name supposed to be or what they're supposed to be. I don't know because people spell Caitlin various different ways with a C with a K with a Y with a I you know and I'm like okay I guess that's right and then I get there and she, the lady's like that's not my middle initial but it's the middle initial that's throughout the whole thing and even on the, the closing on the order form, you know, the in the portal. So how would I ever know that that name is incorrect? I haven't, I don't know, I haven't seen that ID. I can't say, hey, give me your ID ahead of time so I can sit here in QC. Everybody has a role in this. And when you stick to your part, that makes everything go smoothly. The reason why the lender can do what they do, the reason why the title can do what they do, 
and the signing and everybody is because everybody sticks to their role. And sometimes with the notaries are being asked to do multiple roles that are outside the scope and that can be stressful for somebody new in this business. And tell me your thoughts on that because I know some of y'all have gotten stressed. I like, okay, I'm trying to remember what this trainer said, what the NNA said, what my state said. Then I'm trying to remember what these instructions say. Then I'm trying to, to, to repackage and restack and reorder the document so that the person who gets them, I'm making their job easy. You know, it's like we're doing a lot to make everybody else's job. And on top of that, I'm trying to make sure that y'all spelt their names correctly and i'm trying to make sure that if the signers don't know something that okay i can tell them what they don't know or at least point them to where they need and i'm sitting here i'm like we got to do all of that and then you want me to do all of that have that clarity of mind and get it all done in an hour with no mistakes nothing whatsoever and this person is brand new haven't even done five closings that's to me is a tall order to to put on somebody where if you focus on the basics of what we're supposed to be there to do confidence will come and grow and you'll be able to do it because i guarantee you if you took any one of those post closers or schedulers and put them out there they might have some problems especially not seeing and i'm not talking about working with the documents that they're comfortable with because they do it that com with somebody else's they're in montana they're doing california they do in georgia they're doing texas you know documents and not the one from their particular company but they're doing the washington dc washington dc is real different so this is what you know i'm like how do you get in a closing done in an hour you when everybody else takes longer you really have to just be calm patient and just focus on the key factors of what you're there to do which is watch to verify the id their identity watch them sign date and initial where applicable and if the page has an um an affidavit you know a jurat or an acknowledgement then you fill that out accordingly and then you move on to the next one and i found pretty early on that was a recipe for success for me because i tried that okay let me make sure i make educate you on this and that and it actually opened up and maybe y'all have experienced too this also but it opened up the window of hey well so what's this mean and what that means so so why is it that way so why are they taking three months of money out for this escrow why am i paying closing costs again so all of these are questions in my opinion that should have been dealt with from the people who put the documents together because you can tell them here's where such and such is but now it opens up the door for well i ask you and i've had people do that to me and if you've had people do that to you, tell me, say something in the comment. But I've actually had people, you know, when I first started, I would say, well, here's, you know, this and here's that and here's this, that and the other all on the CD, like everybody was saying. And then they're like, well, why is it that way? I'm like, excuse me. Can you tell me why do they take three months of this out and four months of that out and this, that and the other? I'm like, now you want me to give you an explanation of something that I, and the person wasn't even looking they was like okay i'm ready to sign but i'm doing what folk told me to do and then it just opened me up and see i don't talk about it a whole lot because you probably won't believe me but yeah i've gotten fussed at by the loan officer and even title people in the past because i was trying to do what the popular and the million dollar trainers been saying and then when the person who i'm sitting across is confused and then they call their loan officer or i have to call the title they're like why are you trying to explain the cd and i'm like well that's you know what the training people you know people out here that says you know that's what we're supposed to do and make sure they understand they're like you don't need to do that 
I'm like, okay. And they're like, no, we just need you to get them to sign. This has already been taken care of, and now they're a little confused. And it, and and that's where I was like, okay, I got to really get my my head wrapped around this. So when I started focusing on what am I there to do, that's when things got smoother for me. That's when I started being able to like, okay, man, let me flow with this. And I started getting a flow. And then if a question did come up about something, I just started deferring to them and they handled it. So to do 254 pages in 30 minutes, it's primarily okay the signers they under under the gun all they cared about was the big numbers they've done refinances before they weren't even getting any money out of their equity they were just trying to they were just getting a better rate they're like hey we just refinancing to get a better rate so i was like okay cool they knew everything so there was no need for me yeah i'm gonna back up there was no need for me to get that detail and try to go through everything because here's the thing they had multiple copies of their loan application multiple copies of some of everything because they combined whoever did this they combined the loan app and the closing documents all in one for whatever reason so they just wanted to sign that's how i get through these here in an in a under an hour is that i just focus on doing what i'm there to do I get that the escrow people and the and all of them, they're busy and they're inundated with stuff. So they don't have time to talk to the signers and go over stuff with them. So they try to defer that to us and they want us to do it. The problem is the signers sometimes thinking that we are employees of them and we're not employees. So they're thinking that we we have to do this or we're expected to do this. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I said, but we can get you the answer. So I go ahead on and give somebody a call. They give somebody a call. And then we go ahead on and get it done. So for all you new notaries out there, and I understand that there's title companies, there's lenders. Um, I don't know lenders, but I know title companies and signing companies don't like this kind of talk. Y'all, I know they want to hear the talk of, Every notary needs to explain the documents and share stuff and point to this and point to that and, and make sure they are cool with this and, and guide them and make sure that they sign this and, and make sure they feel comfortable about that. But that is legally not our job. And if it is, then I will do it all day, every day. My advice to new notaries is simply this. Understand what you're supposed to do as a notary per your state and make sure that part is done. As time goes by, you will get comfortable with the documents. You will learn more about the documents. And I've always said this. I learn more about the documents when I call the title and the lender with questions from the signer because they actually explain the true meaning of these documents, not the stuff that they say online. Because I've heard some of the definitions that they've given about different documents. And then I've listened to the loan officer explain why this document is there and why they need to sign it and the, and, the, and the verbiage in it. I'm like, that is not what they said online. This is completely different. And what they're saying makes sense. I'm like, oh, OK, I get it. Now I get what they're talking about. But it's still not our role to do. And I've never had a lender fuss at me for not explaining the documents. They always have told me, hey, appreciate you having them reach out to me because, you know, they're, you know, and that one guy told me, said, you know, because they're our client and it's my responsibility to make sure that they're comfortable with this. So this is what the lender is telling me. And I'm sitting here confused as all get out like, okay, the lender is telling me they want to take on the responsibility or they have the responsibility of this. The title is telling me they have the responsibility of this. And both of them are telling me this is all we expect you to do. But then you have everybody else on the daggone Internet is saying, no, you have to get in here and take on the responsibility of the lender and the, and the title company to make sure this thing happens. And I'm like, that doesn't make sense. And it's confusing people. And yet until this day, I've been asking people to please show me and help me to understand why I shouldn't think that way, why I should be thinking like 
I need to get in here and know all of this, these details about the documents for because it's a loan closing. It's a mortgage. And I don't have to know those details about power of attorneys, wills and other estate planning documents and things of that nature. And what I ascertained over the years is that it's primarily because we have the we physically have the documents and because we physically get the documents. Now we feel like we have some type of ownership of these documents and some responsibility of these documents. And that's not the case. We're just the custodial part of it to do our part. And our part is to ID, they sign, they date, they initial, we stamp. And fill out that notarial spot. I got to say that so people don't think, oh, we just stamp. So, you know, fill out the notarial area properly. Or if the if it's not the correct notarial thing um, for our state, then we put in the proper one. That's it. We got to stop complicating this. We got to stop making this be more than what it is because new notaries are struggling and they're hurting mentally and financially because they're trying to spend more and more money on learning something that is not pertinent for them to be successful in this business. Yes, it's nice. It's a nice to do to have that knowledge, but there's not a title company out there that I know of. There's not a lender out there that I know of. And there's not a signing company that I know of. And if it is, please correct me. That literally goes back and calls the customer and says, can you, t can you, Explain to me whether or not the notary explained the line by line details of the closing disclosure. That's what I want. I mean, you're, we're being told to do something, but when they do the QC and say, hey, would you work with this notary again? Is it based off of the notary told us, told them the line by line details of the closing disclosure? Or is it because they came in professional and got the job done? They was dressed professional, this, that and the other. You see what I'm saying? So what we get graded on by the signing company and primarily the title company is whether we did our notarial part right. Did we get them to sign, date, and initial if applicable? And did we do the notarial part correct? And if we made a mistake and anywhere on that document, did we get it fixed? Has nothing to do with, well, we think you didn't explain that document the way we would like you to have explained it. So go back. Or you didn't cover section K on the closing disclosure fully so go back and explain it. Once they sign the document, the deal is done. There's no going back and trying to explain and educate them on any section of the closing disclosure or on any line of the altar, any document out there. It's they signed it. They're the responsible. This is their deal. They should have read it. You go in a court of law. They're going to be like the judge is going to say. Mr. and Mrs. Jones, did you read the documents before you signed it? Well, no, I just going by what the notary said. Well, did you read the documents? You know, this is your signature. You should you have the responsibility of reading it. And then if the notary gave wrong information, what well, notary, where did you learn to give this kind of information? Who told you to say this? You know, I'm a snitch. <laughs> Here's the receipts of all the courses I paid for. <laughs> I did what they told me to do. But I don't think we need to go down that road. Do what we're supposed to do. Execute it properly. No different than your W-2. You get hired to be the front desk secretary. You operate in your role to the best of your ability. You get hired to be a shift manager. You're not the owner of the thing. You're not the, 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 the regional manager. You do your part. Everybody does their part. There's no problems. We only have problems in life. Well, not just only one of the real areas where we have problems is when somebody is going outside of the scope of what they have the ability to do or the responsibility to do. So if you're not if you don't have the ability to do something, you shouldn't be doing it. If you don't have the responsibility to do something, you shouldn't be doing it. That's just facts. And if I'm incorrect, then again, as I keep saying, Please correct me because I know some people think that I'm incorrect in what I'm sharing, but y'all won't talk to me about it. You just want to ignore me, but ignoring the problem doesn't solve it. We got to get some solutions to the problems. So 
I'm open for the discussion. I am open for the discussion because I know when these documents go back to them, they're going to be like, was it notarized properly? Yes. Bingo. That's all they care about. It's well, did he explain? Sign, dated, initial, notarized. Sign, date, initial, notarized. That's what we're here to do. And if we do that, I don't see where, what, what the problem is. What makes you a bad notary? Because you can't, you don't have these summary things to show and to tell and to say about each and every page of a 254 page closing. Whew. I'm just saying. Well, let me go in here and do these scans and then drop these documents off and go out here and do this um, house inspection. I got two and then I got closings to do. And um, that's it. And again, if you got any comments, please put them in the comment section. Um, if you want to talk to me and get some clarity on this here for yourself, you know, you look in the um, on the about page and my contact information is in there. Um, I got some time today to, to talk, <laughs> you know. The channel members, y'all know we're going to be getting together this weekend. Um, later today, what's today, Tuesday? Later today or tomorrow, I will be sending out some um, Zoom links and um, and everything for the different times that y'all said that y'all can meet. Um, and then we'll get together. I might just send out one and then y'all just, and I just have the Zoom running and y'all just hop on <laughs> whenever you want and we'll chop it up and all of that good stuff. But I just want everybody to be successful in this business. I believe you can. I know you can. And I'm just waiting to see each and every one of you do it to the best of your ability, not the way somebody else has told you it should be done, not just to make $10,000 a month or $20,000, but to make the money that you need to make to take care of your responsibilities for you and your family. That's what this is about. It's not about bragging white rights for me. It's not about me making money off of y'all. It's about me helping you to make money for yourself. And what I need to make for me and my family is going to come. You make what you need to make for you and yours. That's where I'm at with this. So look forward to hearing what you got to say. Talk to you later. Mm. Talk to y'all later. Peace.